are not as divided as our politics suggest. We're not as cynical as the pundits believe. We are greater than the sum of our individual ambitions, and we remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. We are, and forever will be, the United States of America. And together, with your help and God's grace, we will continue our journey forward and remind the world just why it is that we live in the greatest nation on Earth. Thank you, America. God bless you. God bless these United States. A lot of people celebrated the night Obama won in 2012. I could hear their parties start with a release of tension and triumph that shattered the midnight stillness. But I didn't join them. I had work to do. I had watched the results of the election come in alone, which wasn't an unusual situation for me since I spent most of my days alone. I was what you would call an outcast, shunned by the other students for espousing political beliefs that differed from the prevailing liberalism of the school. There was only one person on campus who thought of me as a friend, and I didn't even know who he was. I knew him only as Utah, the name he used to sign his letters I picked up from our hiding spot behind one of the pictures hung on the second floor of our student union. He knew me as Texas. After Obama finished speaking, I wrote Utah a letter that demanded an immediate response and ran over to the drop point. When he came the next night with his reply, there were two lipo agents waiting to arrest him. They took him away, and I haven't heard from or about him since. They knew when and where to find him because I led them there. This is me. I was recruited out of high school as a member of the liberal police at UC Berkeley. I transferred to Colby after my sophomore year and went undercover to help root out hiding conservatives across campus. On the surface, the Utah op was run of the mill. The tactic was tried and true. I spent a couple of weeks building up his trust, and then, once I had it, I betrayed him. Wash, rinse, repeat. It usually didn't bother me, but for some reason, this time, it stuck with me. I guess it was what he wrote in his last letter. He said, we cannot lose sight of the importance of the freedom of speech, for just as nature relies on diversity for evolution, so does progress rely on a difference of opinion. Without a conflict of ideas, our society cannot and will not improve. <laughs>